Hey there marksmen, what is up at Swift Shot Outdoors? My name is Luke and I'm very glad you're here. Today we're going to be doing some woodchuck hunting. But before I get into it, I'm going to show you all my gear. So this is my primary woodchuck hunting rifle. This is a Remington Model 700, chambered in 22-250, uh, bolt action. And I threw a Walmart bipod on it, works great, pretty cheap and does what it needs to. Um, I have a Vortex Crossfire 2 up on top, 3 to 12 magnification. Uh, for cameras, I have a GoPro Hero 8 pointed back towards me, and then I have a scope camera. This is the this is the Tacticam film through scope, uh, right attached right onto my scope, films right through it, looks clear, looks great. And so there's my primary woodchuck gun. My secondary woodchuck gun is a Savage Mark II 22 long rifle, also bolt action. Uh, I don't really have any cameras on this gun, but this is my secondary gun, but this is my close range gun. I have this old banner that's folded up and I use this to lay down on uh, to keep me off of the ground and off the grass, away from the bugs and everything. And I have this, this Pesafun backpack, carries everything I need, all my ammunition, camera gear, uh, license, everything I need goes in here. For my ammunition for the 22, i I'm using CCI Mini Mag Hollow Point 22. For the 22-250, I'm using super, uh, Hornady Superformance Varmint, muzzle velocity of 4,450, and it's a 35 grain bullet. Now that you've seen all my gear, I want to explain why I woodchuck hunt. Woodchucks are known as a nuisance animal. They cause a lot of problems for farmers and just for the commonwealth. They dig a lot of holes in the ground, which is one form of destruction. Uh, it can harm the, the farmer's farming equipment. Also, horses and cows and other livestock can step in the holes and it can break their legs. Also, woodchucks eat a lot of farmer's crops, especially soybeans. They can destroy tons of crops and take that takes some money away from farmers when they try to go and sell their product. Overall, they're a very destructive species and that's why I go out and hunt them and get rid of them. And I don't, you can eat them, I don't eat them, I leave them for all the, scaven the scavenger animals to eat, such as coyotes, foxes, eagles, you know, lots of different animals will eat woodchucks when I la leave them there in the field. So that's just me justifying woodchuck hunting for you guys. But, so, on to the video. Also, one quick thing I forgot to add before, this is a brand new scope and a brand new gun for me. I just got it within this year. So I'm still learning the gun and I'm still learning the optics and especially where, how high or low I need to aim depending on where my range is. So I'm not the most accurate with this gun. I did hit most of my shots today. Just so you guys don't think I'm a bad shot, okay? <laughs> Well guys, I killed that one. You could see on the scope camera I was aiming a little low. That's because he was under 50 yards, so I had to aim low. And I'm still figuring out the sights on this gun, but I did kill him. There's some blood on the rock here, and there's some pieces of fur and things. But there's little bits of blood everywhere, so I know I killed him, but he just died inside his hole, which isn't such a bad thing. Because if they die in their hole, that means another one won't move in afterwards because it smells like dead woodchuck in there. So that's one down. Couldn't recover the body, but that's all right. Still killed it, still helping the farmers out and getting rid of all these pesky woodchucks. Just smoke this one, y'all. This is a female, pretty good size. I'm not gonna turn it over because that's where the exit wound is and it's really gory and I don't want this video to get taken down. But uh, that's two. So I'm sure you guys can see uh, right by my crosshair, that's his, that's a woodchuck head right there. Uh, the reason I'm not shooting right now is because I want to wait for his whole body to get exposed um, and I can get a better shot. So that's why I'm not taking this right now, but um, I got my eyes set on one.
Got him. Well, maybe not. Missed him again. Gosh, I can't figure out the sights on this guy. All right, I'm not gonna shoot right here because he's up in a dangerous spot. Never mind, I did kill him. I just had to give him another shot. I guess I must have hit him in the leg or something. I'm still trying to figure out uh, my new rifle scope. There's number three for the day, and I think that might be it. Oh, you did? Oh, he's right there. He's dead. That's, that's just his nerves firing. Yeah. He's totally dead. It was a headshot. Yeah. Yeah. I see it when their tail starts doing that, mm -hmm. they wave by. I shot him in the head, so his nerves are going to go crazy. Thank you guys to all who watched. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, it was a lot of fun to make, and I hope I can do more videos like this. So please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already to become a marksman. I'm going to try to get two videos a week for you guys on Tuesdays and Fridays. I can't always guarantee it because I'm a busy guy. I work full-time job right now and I got lots of things going on, but I will try my best to get videos up for you guys. So once again, thank you to all who watched. I love every single one of you, and hey, don't forget to stay on target. Good.